Smoke Sheldon Harrison. There never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, so there's a lot of buzz, man. A lot of buzz. And the buzz now is, you know, hey, you know, will Deontay Wilder take a deal and sign with the zone? Will he do it? Um, you know what? If Deontay Wilder were to go to the zone, I have no issues with that because I've never been one of the people who were even anti the zone in the first place. And you can go and check my receipts, okay? But some of you guys, you're too lazy to do that anyway. You can go check my receipts. I've never been anti the zone. In fact, you know, I actually had to get the zone because, you know, I cover WMMA fights and WMMA, they put that on the zone for Bellator. So, it just makes sense to me anyway because some of my favorite female fighters fight for Bellator. So, there you go. So, I was never anti the zone. If Deontay Wilder got to go there to take care of business, okay, he can do both. He can have the legacy fight with Joshua and he can get his money. So, I don't have an issue with that. Could care less. I don't care where Deontay Wilder go, okay? I don't care. Well, yeah, I do. Now, if he went to Golden Boy, I wouldn't watch the fight, okay? I'm just being honest. If he went to Golden Boy Promotions, I, I would not watch that fight. I don't care. I'm a huge Wilder fan, but I, I hate Golden Boy more than I hate Wilder. But any other network, any other place he go to, I don't care. I just want to see the fight. I just want to see the fight, okay? That's it. So all I want to do is see the fight. Um, you know, and if Wilder were to go to the zone, this would improve the likelihood of getting the fight with Joshua. Um, but if I was Wilder, though, I would have it put in writing that you get Joshua. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no going around in circles, okay? I get Anthony Joshua if I were to go to the zone. That would be what I would have in my contract. Um, we've been waiting for this fight long enough, you know? And see, you know, because Tyson Fury, he chose to go over the top rank, which, you know, the Wilder 2, the Wilder Fury 2 fight, you know, that's just putting a hurdle in the way of that fight. So that fight probably isn't going to happen, man, for a long time. Probably, you know what? We, we, we may even get it at the end of the year. I'm still optimistic that Tyson Fury, somehow, they're going to work this deal out. Honestly, I don't see Anthony Joshua and, and Eddie Hearn actually even remotely trying to make this deal possible. I, I just, I don't know, man. Because every time that this fight has, you know, happened or been put on the table, you know, Hearn and, and Joshua, they put all these hurdles in the way. Like the $50 million, people still run around here saying that the $50 million isn't real. Which, that baffles me because Eddie Hearn and Barry Hearn, both of them said that it's, it's, it's a legit offer. It was real. So, I mean, I don't understand if they're saying it's real, if Wilder's saying it's real, okay? If Wilder's manager is saying that it's real, if Steven Espinoza is saying that it's real, we got a lot of people running around here saying that it's not real. And these are people that they're not behind closed doors when these deals are being made. You know, I don't, I don't believe some guy in the comment section, okay? If you're a dude in the comment section and you UK and you want to try to change my perception, well, good luck. You're not going to change my perception because your goofy ass, you're not in, in the negotiating room. None of y'all are. You guys make videos. You upload videos just like me. I'm, upload, I'm uploading a video. Okay, that's what you're doing. But, you know, again, you know, if he goes to the zone, so what? You know, so what? The fight's going to happen. Okay, we're going to get the fight that we want to see. I've never been much about the politics of boxing. I've never been a person to work. I've, I've always been a person. I just want to see the best people, the best fighters fight the best fighters. That's it. You know, and, and Tyson Fury, he pulled a whole move. He pulled a very whole move on Deontay Wilder because they were behind the scenes trying to negotiate this fight. Then all of a sudden Tyson Fury announces that, you know, he's going to be going with top rank or not sign with top rank, but actually, you know, doing ES, ESPN Plus. Um... And I can see, see for Tyson Fury, I can honestly see that more eyeballs are going to see you if you're doing ESPN+. Plus. More eyeballs are going to see you. And, and Bob Arum, I think he even, you know, gave Wild an offer. I'm not sure what the offer was. I don't know what it was. I just know that they were, he said that, you know, he's going to give Wilder an offer he can't refuse. And so Wilder would have to go to ESPN+. Plus. See, people are saying that Wilder, you know, is out of options. He ain't got no choice. Actually, when you look at this whole layout, Deontay Wilder got options. He could easily go to ESPN Plus and fight Fury, or he can go to the zone and fight, you know, Anthony Joshua. I mean, that sounds like a lot of options to me, don't you think? And then 
we still got to wait for Showtime to even come back and say, hey, this is what we want to give you. You know, maybe maybe Showtime may even give him, you know, a little bit more to stay. I don't know. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors. But to me, Wilder got options. <laughs> you know, it, it amazes me. You got these idiots making videos saying that Wilder don't have options. That Wilder, you know, was the one that, that's stalling this fight. It's Wilder fault. How, how is it Wilder fault? I mean, what, do people have a short memory? I, I just w would love to bring some of this stuff back into people's memory. It was Wilder that tried to fight Provecan. Provecan uh, test the dirty. It was Wilder that tried to fight Joseph Parker. Uh, Joseph Parker didn't want no parts of Wilder. Call it how you want it. Take it how you want it. That's the truth. Okay, Wilder fought Luis, or wanted to fight Luis Ortiz the first time. Luis Ortiz popped dirty. And Wilder still turned back around and fought him anyway. Okay. Wilder was the one, his team, they negotiated and they initiated the $50 million offer. So AJ and, and Eddie, they, they found a way to say no. I mean, I, guys, all of this stuff, all this stuff is researchable. It's irrefutable. I mean, it, it's, it's true. Okay. It looks to me that Wilder got options. <laughs> he got options. I mean, will he go to ESPN Plus with top rank? And, you know, I mean, will he do that and fight Fury? Or will he go over to the zone? You know, sign a deal with the zone just to fight Joshua. Uh, the the zone deal, you know, from what I, from what I understand, you know, Wilder doesn't have to, you know, sign with Matchroom. He doesn't, you know, he don't have to sign with a multi-fight deal. You know, I mean, he just got to sign a deal. So that this this is what I'm understanding, okay? But what I'm understanding and what I'm reading, people are not in a negotiating room, okay? But I know this though, and I'm gonna tell y'all this, and I'm gonna let y'all go. I don't care what you say. I've been a coach for over 20 years, and I know athletes. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Tyson Fury, he talking all this noise, but I promise you, they've been behind closed doors talking, and his team been telling him that Deontay Wilder is all wrong for you. He's all wrong for you, Tyson. He's all wrong. Tyson Fury wife been at home telling him that big Dawson almost, he almost knocked you silly. You know, what if you didn't get up? What if you went into a coma? Tyson, he hit you hard enough to, to actually injure you, like, severely. See, all of this stuff is going on in that camp. You know, Wilder, I don't care what you say. You can say Windmill Wilder. You can say this, but there's not a lot of heavyweights. It's not a lot that they're rushing, in, they're rushing to get in the ring with Deontay. They're not doing it. And there's a reason why these people, they're not rushing to get in there with him. This man is the most dangerous heavyweight out there. I don't care if he's the most skilled. He is the most dangerous. Ask Luis Ortiz. Ask Eric Molina. Ask that guy who got on the ground and started shaking. Okay, I'm talking about the guy like start having damn convulsion. A ask that guy if Deontay Wilder not dangerous. Ask Arthur Spilka if Deontay Wilder not dangerous. Ask Bermaine Stavern if Deontay Wilder is not dangerous. I mean, ask those guys. Ask those guys if he's not dangerous. And they'll tell you a whole different story. They'll tell you a different story. They'll tell you something else. And I'm going to tell you, Tyson Fury, he's not going to be quick to get up in there. Not not too fast. Not right away. No, 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 no. No. They need Tyson Fury to get some cushion fights. They need him to get some tune-up fights. That, this is what's going on, y'all. That, that, it's, it's just what it is. That's what it is. We can take all this other stuff out of it. Take the money. Take the promoters. Take all that stupid stuff out of this. Look at what it is. This man does not look at do, do you see his face do you see this this man running around here with glove prints on his face I, <laughs> no no this is not what he wanted this is not what he want right now i can tell you that now this, this is not what tyson fury want right now tyson fury is a good talker he's a good salesman but you can't hide what you really want you can't hide that it's clearly visible it's visible Wilder got options. Stop letting all these people making these goofy videos. Oh, Wilder, Wilder, he running out of options. No, he not. The man got plenty of options. And that, well, that's just the way that is. I'm done.